number one, Mervyn Nagel. There's a go now. Oh, Nagel, what a ripper! You know, I reckon the best word that somebody's come up with to describe him, and it's not my word, but I reckon it absolutely sums him up with swashbuckling. really could open up the play, long raking kicks, and a little bit fiery, but in the right sense. Not, not fiery against his teammates and do something, you know, that him would like. Fiery and actually could lift the side and, and do great things. Can't put Williams out to uh, Watson. Watson out to Neagle. Neagle from the forward pocket, a difficult shot at goal. It's going well, it's going close, it's going through. Merv was a, uh, a great competitor. Back to Neagle again, it's clear. It didn't matter who he come up against. You knew he was always going to have a go. And Neagle goes for the long kick over the half forward line. Danaher with a great mark. It's always that tenacious, cheeky fella out on the field. Great to play with. The days of his playing days was uh, was fantastic. The half forward line. Another hand pass to Vanderhaar. The flying Dutchman fires at the goal. He was that type of guy that would make a, an impact in a very short time. I remember one time he got really angry at Sheeds and he um, came storming up the race and went into the room and grabbed Sheeds's, all Sheeds' clothes out of locker, threw it all across the, the change rooms, all his books and papers threw it all across the, uh, the change rooms and stormed out. And about two hours later, he rang up Kevin Egan, who was then team manager, and said, uh, what do I do now? <laughs> we won't put him back, no troubles at all. Picks it up like he normally does today. You think it was a dry day for that guy? Back to what? Yeah, we used to meet down at the paper shop, Timbula, when the papers would arrive about quarter seven in the morning, and we'd load up our paper bags on our bikes, and we'd sit there on our bikes, and we'd count out an extra couple of papers that we could take home that we didn't have to pay for, and we'd look at the footy teams on a Friday morning, and and then. Now I think about the fact that, you know, these two kids that came from the country town in Dimbula, which was a very small country town, and there we were on grand final day on the MCG in 1984. I remember saying to him, have we got them now? Have we got them now? They can't come back and beat us now. And it was that realisation that, you know, we'd actually won a flag. Neagle gets his kick in long and high to the goal square. And look at that. That really is the centre of him there needed to be. Great laugh, a big smile, and uh, yeah, just a, a really good teammate in a really good era. He was a great character. He was just a good bloke to be around. That's what people come to watch the game. They, they come to see a contest, and uh, and Merv gave you that. I've uh, had a lot of time with Merv after uh, footy. Um, yeah, he's been a great, great mate. <laughs>